Hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and this is an episode of M's Scrap Busters. That is a weekly challenge on my channel that I try to help you um, get rid of some scraps and um, not throw everything away. Let's do some recycling and upcycling and things like that. So anyways, M Scrap Busters. Hope that y'all enjoy these scrap busting videos. They are some of my favorites to do because I like making something out of nothing. And today we are going to make some tip-ins, um, flip outs, fold ups, whatever you want to call them. Um, something to hang over the edge of your page, whatever, um, out of scraps. And we're going to layer up scraps to make the foundation and then put us on some die cuts and then all of these fell out of the package and so I decided we can use some postage stamps too and even use the backer that was in the postage stamp Duma Flachi, there it is um, we can even use envelopes so if you've got an older envelope you want to use we can do that makes a perfect tip in or fold over flip out and it has a built-in pocket so we can do that too um, but if you've got <clears throat> just some scraps, maybe one bigger piece of scrap, and then we're going to layer up behind it and make us some customized tip ins. First, I wanted to show you I have a brand new digital kit in the shop, scrapbookingwithme.com. And this one is called Polka Dot Collaged Valentine. And it is Valentine themed. It's got hearts all through it. It's got pink roses and red roses all through it. This is one of the pages. It's got little pieces of kind of like tape taped on to some of the pieces. And each page that's in the kit is collage. So it's got more than just one image on the page. So there's one of them. And I've just put some um, ledger paper on the back side so it wouldn't just be stark white. And then here's another with a little lace border and lots of red roses on it and maybe a little cherub kind of card taped onto it. And then this one, I love that background so I didn't want to cover that up too much. Got a large piece of tape there, one there and one there holding on these cards and then a little rose in bud right there and there we go there is the other page journal page so see when you fold it up you would have that on the front that on the back and then we have ephemera pages lots of ephemera pages so this is little postcards and journal cards here love those postcards and they have a pink tint to them and then these um, journal cards, that's got that little envelope all over the one journal card. I love that. Um, this says, My Sweetheart, little bitty um, word label. And then you've got some white background um, journal cards, or you could use those as tucks on pages there. Then you have some page edges or borders or belly bands there banners, um, ephemera, fussy cuts, more little journaling cards, tags, and then these journaling cards. I love how those flowers are just on the edges of the card. You've got plenty of room to write. You've got um, a letter, love or love of old. Um, you've got, this one says, To My Valentine, I Love You Truly is my favorite song. I just keep singing it all day long. <laughs> to My Valentine. And then you've got some word labels here. And then you've got some individual little envelopes here that you can um, cut out, fussy cut, and use on your pages. And then this page has pockets, six pockets on it. It's got some stamp, old vintage looking stamps there with hearts on them. You've got another page edge or belly band or um, a tuck and then more little journaling cards that will fit in your pockets. So that is polka dot 
collage valentine my brand new digital kit that i have made and it is on the website right now go to scrapbookingwithme.com and go to our digital category and it should be there close to the very top i love to make in that one i love how vintage it is along with all the pinks and stuff so with this um project today you will need some probably need some kind of scoring tool i need some kind of scoring tool so i'm just going to tell you go ahead and get your scoring tool out if you've got one and a trimmer and then just get out scraps these tip ends or whatever we're calling them they can be um, any size you don't have to have a specific measurement for these but I will show you how I would use this so you've got this fold over piece here and so you could just clip it on here like this or you could just glue in the crease and permanently put it on your page like that I love that it's so pretty okay um, you could put this in the middle so you would have a tip in there um, you might would even want to turn it this way and tip it in like that so you would just glue down the spine put it in the crease of your um, journal signature and then you could have that you could have that room on the back to write on if you wanted to if this was up and down you could do it as a flip up and have it clipped or permanently put down on the top of your page like this and so it flips up and it will give you extra journaling space there so that's how we would use these little turnovers <laughs> we're making turnovers but they're not apple <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead there's a little gnat decided you know where where do you come from little gnat because it's 12 degrees outside really where are you coming from <clears throat> let's use this little backer board that came from the um, postage stuff let's use that and then I think I will put this Back behind it so see on this one I had some original um, kind of handmade paper here and then I put some cardstock here and then layered some more cardstock there and I think that's what I will continue to do here and then we'll put on a die cut of some kind let's go I'm in a pink mood with that Valentine thing I'm in a pink mood I'm going to go across the top of that, add this on, and let it just peekaboo over the top of our packaging that we're using. Okay, and then same thing here, and I'll cut off the extra pink. So I'll just do a little line of glue here. Um, here in Alabama, we are ice in right now. Um, we don't see this kind of weather a lot around here. And so we don't have the snow plows and the abundance of salt for the roads and all that kind of stuff. We're iced in. It started on Monday. This is Thursday. We're still iced in. <laughs> We're about to go crazy around here. <laughs> we can't go anywhere. We can't even go uh, to the convenience store down the road because we don't have four-wheel drive, like a, even like an ATV or something like that. I know that the convenience store, it's an Exxon gas station. I know that that store is open because he vows to us, Sam is his name, he vows to us all the time no matter what i will be open he says <laughs> oh. so even if we wanted to though we couldn't now if we just absolutely needed something we could borrow the neighbor's atv 
or golf cart or whatever they have and we could go but um i got lots of groceries right before all this started saturday as a matter of fact lots of groceries i mean i prepared but a lot of people around here they just go for the bread the milk and the eggs now why they're wanting to make french toast the whole time that they're shut into their their iced into their house i don't know but that's what most people do because um saturday after i had gotten groceries um, a friend of mine had posted she went to walmart to get her groceries and it was all gone the bread was gone she posted a picture and i mean every loaf of bread even hamburger and hot dog buns were gone they were gone she was like, um, whomever got all of the bread, thanks so much. But I'm like, really? Bread, eggs, and milk. So I'm assuming they're getting cereal with that milk. And I'm assuming they just absolutely love eggs. Or maybe they're doing a lot of baking. I don't know. But I didn't get bread. We didn't need bread, so. I didn't get bread. Um, right now I have homemade yeast rolls rising in the kitchen for our, to go along with our supper tonight, we're going to have um, barbecue pork sliders tonight. Um, we have eat well, that's for sure. I've made, since we've been iced in, I have made chicken and broccoli rice casserole. I have made a whole like cooked a whole um, pork loin and we had um, barbecue stuffed baked potatoes the first night of our <laughs> captivity <laughs> oh, first night of captivity barbecue pork stuffed potatoes it was good too and we shared um, with our neighbors across the road they are older i would not say they're elderly they get around probably better than we do <laughs> um but um they are older than us and so we shared pork and i made homemade white barbecue sauce now if you've ever been to the south if you've ever been to alabama white barbecue sauce is a big thing here and in a restaurant I used to work at years and years and years ago, that was one of my jobs. Every shift I worked, I made the sauces and we made our own ranch dressing, everything. So, um, yeah, I made white sauce Monday night and then we took some of that to them. I love that. Um, and then the next night was the chicken and broccoli rice casserole. Um, last night was chicken stew, and then tonight is was just going to be sandwiches and chips. Not that we're out of food, just that I wanted a night <laughs> so I'm not cooking up a storm. But guess what I did when I first got up this morning? Started making homemade yeast rolls, and I thought we have that barbecue that pork left over. I thought, and I've got barbecue sauce in there. Let's make barbecue pork sliders and we can eat chips with that. So, yeah, even on my night that I wanted it to be easy peasy, <laughs> uh, I made it a little difficult for myself. But, you know, I've made these yeast rolls so many times, it's not difficult at all. I'm going to stamp a little bit on this just like I did that one just get a little bit of stamping in there and then I'm going to glue this on I think I might put a little bit of cheesecloth back behind that yes I've got some yeah I do so anyway that is what's happening around here lately and Brandon has not been able to go to the shop at work this week Bethany's college Sorry, I'm leaned over getting cheesecloth. Bethany's College has been closed all week, and she just got the text this morning that they are closed tomorrow also. 
um, she has been getting her um, assignments virtually, so she's able to do that, but it's been crazy, like hard, hard, hard freeze. It has not been above freezing, and we're not used to that here in Alabama. I know northerners are like, whatever, y'all need to get a thicker skin. This is crazy that y'all are frozen solid. <laughs> But I mean, we just don't have the manpower. We don't have the trucks. We don't have the equipment. We're not equipped for this. We are not equipped for this. Um, I cannot remember in my almost 48 years living in North Alabama, I cannot remember ever it being negative temperatures. Ever. Now, I can remember a meteorologist saying, Folks, it feels like so-and-so negative degrees outside, but, you know, that, that's with the wind chill. But never an actual negative. And I think parts of North Alabama and Southern Tennessee got into the negative two last night. So, it's been crazy. We are not used to this. <laughs> We're not cut out for this. <laughs> but now below like middle Alabama and below they're good it's cold but they're good North Alabama is frozen solid don't come we're closed <laughs> uh, southern Tennessee pretty much all of middle Tennessee is iced in it's craziness so I have been cooking a little bit more than I usually do because, you know, everybody's home. And a lot of my friends are like, I can't stand this. I need to go somewhere. I need to get out of here. I'm not like that because I'm a homebody. I love being at home and my office is pretty much at home. I do most of the shop work that I do. I do from home. So I haven't been stir crazy, but having everybody else here in my office, <laughs> That, that has kind of um, unnerved me a little bit at times. But, you know, when that happens, um, I come in my craft room and I close the door and I do my thing. Or I put in my earbuds and I listen to a book and I'm, I'm good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's neat. The impossible is often untried. That is what that says. I'm trying to read it without my reading glasses on. Yeah, that's right. This is the Tim Holtz Small Talk, and I talked through what I used here. That is a die cut from the Tim Holtz uh, palette collection. It is gorgeous, the stuff in this. It's like kind of like a rainbow effect to most of the stuff. I think I will cut this right in between is and often and I'm gonna put it like this cute see so okay it looks like a journal card but we've got that flip over that we can add it and see so you can do them either way your flip over on the left side or your flip over on the right side Here's my little idea journal. I've got an envelope right there just sitting there that I need to do something to. So, on this page, <clears throat> we could put that right there and just clip it on. How beautiful is that? We could even put like a little piece of ribbon up behind it and glue it on and put it on there like that. Love it. All right, let's do one that um, flips up from the top. Let's do that. We've done two side flips. Now let's do one that flips up from the top. Let's get... This is totally Christmas paper. But I think it would be good. And let's see, is it would be it be too wide? It will be. So let's cut this down some. This is a scrap piece, but it's a little big. So let's cut it down. 
a little bit. I will cut the presents off because I'm good as far as Christmas stuff. I've had lots of time to do Christmas stuff. So cut that down. And I'm going to go ahead and fold this one. Instead of scoring, I can go ahead and fold this one about yay. So I won't need my scoring um, platform, but I'll just leave it there. Anyway, let's see. Let's do a little bit of layering. Layering, collage, something, something. Okay, it's going to come from the top. Ooh, so let's get that key in there. I like that. And then whatever die cut, we can put it on this side and you can still see that key. Let's ink it up a little bit. So anyways, lots of creativeness going on this week because everything is shut down. Um, I heard that Walmart and Publix, that is the closest to us, are open. And like I said, the nearest gas station to us is open. But it's just getting to it, you know. And then, I mean, those employees or owners or whatever, they've got to have chains or, I don't know, four-wheel drive, really good four-wheel drive. <laughs> because, I mean, the road is, I mean, this thick in ice. It's a good two inches of ice out there. And... With us not getting above freezing, it's not going anywhere. It's just sitting. Um, a friend of mine on Facebook, I saw where she posted a meme. It was Chris Farley. Do y'all remember him off Saturday Night Live? A lot of his stuff, of course, I didn't watch because he's a potty mouth. But um, he's doing that where he's screaming and he's holding his hands like this. And he says, for the love of God, melt ice. Please melt. <laughs> and I'm I'm feeling that way, y'all. Uh, I'm wanting it. I'm wanting it to to melt so that um either I can go somewhere for just a little bit, or everybody in my house can go somewhere for a little bit. <laughs> oh my! But I do thank the good Lord above that. Our power has not went off one time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. It has not went off one time. And I'm so grateful for that because that was my biggest concern when all this come up. Ooh, I like that. But I think she needs a little something back behind her too. Um, yeah, when all of this, they started saying, okay, it's, it's going to snow, it's going to ice. You need to get prepared. That was my thing. I was like, oh. What if the, we, we don't have gas heat at all? Everything's electric. And that has really um, concerned me for years. And now I'm like, okay, we, we've got to do something about this. Come on. We've got to do something about it. But, I mean, even we have natural gas available to us. It is outrageously expensive to get it to our door. So we're just going to have to bite the bullet and get it done. I think I'm going to layer that up. And let's go ahead and tear this edge and the bottom edge too. So that was my thing. I don't want us to freeze to death. So Brandon rigged up his truck um, with an extension cord and um brought it through the garage just in case we needed to use it as supplemental power if the power did go out and um, we had all the vehicles filled up with gasoline so if we needed to um, you know, go anywhere to get warm or just sit in the car to get warm we could but I was terrified and which is not over yet so it it could still go out, but um, back in, I think it was 1994, we had a huge ice storm here in Alabama, and the power was out. Uh, 93, we had a huge snowstorm. Power was out for four days. 
I remember that. Mother made the best chicken noodle soup atop a kerosene heater, y'all. We had a kerosene heater. That was our heat in a two-story house. <laughs> and Mama made our food on top of a kerosene heater back in 93. In 94, it was more ice than anything. And it crippled us for... I want to say almost a week. I don't know. I might be over-exaggerating that. But it was a long time. And, um, I mean, we had to, if you had gas heat, you were a very blessed person. If you didn't, you hoped that you had kerosene heat or enough gasoline in your vehicles to keep you warm. And enough blankets to keep you warm until it came up came back on so that's always my concern when um, we're going to have winter weather that we're not equipped for look at that that what is that Matt get out of my face that's still not straight I used a glue stick on this because it is book page and when you use liquid glue on the back of book page, it just, you can see the liquid glue come through it. So I use handy dandy glue stick. Oh, and with our shop, we have four orders stuck that cannot get to us. We have a uh, place to restock order. So if you go to scrapbookingwithme.com and you see a bunch of stuff sold out. We had placed the restock order last week. Four of them. And they're all stuck in this weather. Undeliverable until fall. It's just craziness around here. I'm just saying. And anybody else that has had to deal with this anybody further north than us um places just north of us like still in alabama huntsville alabama i mean is like one of the most major cities in our entire state they're crippled they're like they're going nowhere and if you do you're sliding all over the place it's craziness but Thank the Lord for a good, warm house and good heat that works and electricity. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. All right, let's put this on. I don't want to cover up the date that's on that, so I'm going to come out here some. Pretty, let's put on some word labels and surprisingly Aaron has been very good through all of this um, this is totally out of sorts for him um, you know usually when he's out of his schedule he is going berserk no journey is too great if you find what you seek but he has been really good. He's, and I think this is just a God thing. He has been sleeping a lot more than he usually does. He's usually not a good sleeper. But he's doing good. He is doing really good. Usually, I mean, he, he is an insomniac. He's up to old two and three o'clock in the morning and then sleeps till about 8 30 and he's done he's good um but this week and maybe it's just the weather maybe it's bariatric the barometric sorry bariatric that's a uh, diet that's body <laughs> barometric maybe it's the pressure uh, i don't know whatever it is thank you Thank you, thank you. I think I'll put on this little bitty piece of dually here. Yes. Whatever is helping him. Thank you. 
and I know it's the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I've been thanking him all week. He's heard from me. He hears from me all the time, but he's heard from me extra time this week. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of thanks. Okay, I'm going to ink around the edges of everything. Um, I'm using walnut stain. I didn't say that at the beginning. Walnut stain oxide. We have the brand new scorched timber the last distress color the um, Tim Holtz wanted 72 colors the 72nd color is scorched timber and we have it ordered and it's sitting in a warehouse somewhere waiting to be put on a truck and brought to us maybe it's already on the truck but it's not here yet we're waiting on it, but I ordered it in plenty of time for it to be here the day of the reveal, and it just didn't make it. So, we've got that coming. We have um, ground espresso. We had not had that one in a long time in the shop, and somebody was asking for a darker brown, so I got some of that. That is in the shop, and I have extra of that coming. Um, lots of new products coming from different brands. And we have ordered every bit of it. We're just waiting for it to get here. So that is a flip up. So it's going upward instead of sideways. So you could clip that on or just glue on the fold and have it permanent there. And then you could attach something else to the back there if you wanted to. So there's another one. I love these. I love making these very easy and uh, very practical for your journal pages and very beautiful too all right we've got some of this and we've got some pink that's very eastery looking isn't it and then let's do some book page and one more little something something let's find okay here we go all right that's a little bit of it looks like 49 market maybe prima cardstock and let's put that here and hmm let's maybe make the yellow the background star And let's put that under that. Yeah, let's do that. And we're just going to glue here. I am what is left in this bottle, and it's about that much. It's all I have left. That's one thing I did not stock up on before Ice Mageddon <laughs> came and captured us. I did not get more glue. From the shop so I'll have to just use glue stick on everything until I can get back over there and Brandon had all intentions of going over this morning and he um, got online and read what the um, EMS was saying look at there I use liquid glue on the back of book page and I should have used my glue stick oh well he looked to see what EMA and the police department and all that was saying. And they were like, travel at your own risk. Um, roads are still closed. Your insurance will not pay for damages or your hospital bills. <laughs> and I know some people have to get out. And some people have essential jobs. And their places of business that they work are not closed and they have to be there nurses doctors police officers all of them firefighters we applaud you we appreciate you so much but i do wish that others would stay in as much as possible so that you all do not have as many emergency calls as you do because people are out on the roads that they're not supposed to be on now, let's get all the way to the edge on this one because that's some thick cardstock right there in the middle. Okay. 
this. And I think, let's see, let's see if we've got a small one and I can fold just a little piece on this side. That wisteria is too small. Let's see what this little yellow piece is. Ooh, I like that butterfly. That's too small. And that's too large. I guess you could have something sticking up off the top of it if you want to. You know, make it your own. Do what you want to do. Let's see here. There's so much good stuff in this die cut pack. And I think we are low, if not sold out, of the palette. And um, I have more on the way. It's just whenever it gets here. Now look, if we did that and didn't want to fold it over at all, that would make a gorgeous journal card, just as is. But I want it to fold. So let's find something that's too tall. I don't want to cut it either, so it's just out of luck on that one. Oh, that one's so pretty. Yes. And... Can do mm, we're gonna fold over right there that butterfly will be too big but we can do a little beauty something something maybe we've got something that's little that's got some pink in it that'll go along with that no but we've got that I like that oh we could do it that way yeah now make go ahead and make our fold over how we want it before we put that on let's go with three quarters of an inch oh my book page is wet and I tore it oh well it's more distressed looking, that's for sure. Fold it over. Like I said, that's three layers, and that piece of cardstock is very thick. Once I get ink on that, it'll be fine. Get my bone folder and go across that thick cardstock. There we go. And now I can center that up. And then add that there. And then maybe find a little beady die cut in my stash somewhere that I can put on the edge over here. I'm gonna ink that up. Bethany was supposed to start her internship this week at the salon that's just two miles down the road. And they're not open. They have a very, um, it's not a paved parking lot. And they have a neighboring tree that is about to fall onto their parking lot. And so she's got a huge liability. She's trying to get that tree cut up and taken care of. And she went out there and she was like, um our steps and our um, <clears throat> ramp are sl so slick and nothing we're doing is um, taking care of it. So she said, I've got a lot of elderly clients and of course don't want them to fall. She said, I almost fell myself. So lots of liability going on out there. And I applaud these um, business owners for seeing that and not opening. So they don't hurt somebody or somebody gets hurt on their property or they hurt themselves. So anyway, she hadn't been able to start her internship either. But with the college being closed, her professor totally understands that. Not a problem whatsoever. Now, see, I want, this is kind of naked over here. So I want a little bit of something, something 
to go right there. And I don't really want words like I did on those because I've already got words there. So let me get a little die cut of some kind. I am standing up. Oh, look, a little star. I like that. It's not vintage, but I don't care. I can ink it up, can I? Um, oh, that goes with it. It's a little heart. And it's yellow. Look how cute. Okay, let's ink this. And these have been in my stash for years. Years and years and years. <laughs> so, I'm glad to use them. Yay. Stand up, glue bottle. Stand up. Don't fall on me now. Okay, heart is so tiny, I'm not going to ink it. And I'm just barely going to get any glue on it, I do believe. Because it's tiny. Now, <laughs> It's tiny and just landed on my belly. Oh, and I jumped like I was getting bit by a snake. Cute. All right, in the back is plain yellow, that pale yellow. So you have plenty of room for journaling, or you can cover that up if you want to. Whatever you want to do. So, I think those are so cute and made out of scraps. So, very, very easy. And used up all those scraps that you've just been staring at. Like, what am I going to do and how am I going to use these? Here you go. Here's you another idea. And this is something that we have never done on M Scrap Busters is... Um, flip outs. I don't believe we have. So that's exciting. Something totally new for our challenge. And I got four done easy peasy. What? Less than 40 minutes. Yay. Well, y'all have a great day. Keep warm. And um, I will be back with you soon because, you know, I'm just stuck here at home. <laughs> uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this scrap busting video and that you have enjoyed my chit chat y'all have a great day god bless i'll see you in the next video i love y'all bye